Welcome, Liberance. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Liberance. Let's see what is happening and what is transpiring. So this is the month of November, and we have only four weeks in November. Um, it is a month where you, Liberance, have to find inner strength to deal with some sort of an issue that is transpiring. And um, what we're looking at is basically that some of you Librans have to go within. You have to go within. You have to understand who you are and how you are surviving this sort of energy that is basically coming up because it is where you need to find what it is that makes you happy, okay? Um, you have to resolve whatever the issues that is coming up and make sure that you are standing your ground with whatever that is transpiring. So Librans, this four weeks has a whole lot of water. Um, there are less um, air energy. It is not um, a month for you guys. It's some sort of a balance, imbalance that has been happening and transpire. So I see... Um, the fool and a judgment. The fool and judgment. Now, the fool is uh, some of you leave the month of October, want a new start, but there is some sort of a judgment call that is coming down, and you need to find out what is happening and transpiring. So, I uh, expect some sort of unexpected news um, for some of you Librans that is coming in. The first week is a good week for you, Libran. Whatever you're doing, the first week is going to be good. So be aware of that. The first week is definitely going to be good. Now, the second week, we have water, the eye princess, some sort of a secret end is in end. Um, then we see the hermit. And with the energy of the hermit, some sort of a secret that a, um, a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion had all and um, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn at a whole. And I see truths are going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out what these two people have done. Okay. So I see that um, um, for a lot of you, the last week, some sort of a truth, the sun, because go back and, and, and look at the, um, the monthly energy because in the last week, the last week is the energy of the sun. So some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for a young person between the age of 18 and 45. Um, so be aware. So we're going to be looking at the focus of this month is some ending. So some of you Librans could be ending something or some sort of an ending is coming up for a child or a Pisces Cancer Scorpion in your life. And it has to do with a whole lot of money. And it could be that if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn man or woman between the age of 18 and 45, I see um, an ending is coming in. If some of you were, um, you know, accessing and taking money from this person, I see an end is coming in. Some of you were dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. I see an ending is coming in. This person is looking back at the past um, and some of you uh, needs to move on because this relationship is out. So the last three weeks, this is going to be a very rough month for you, er for you liberals, whatever is happening and transpire. Please become a member. It's just a dollar ninety nine in order to see the extended of this reading. It's just a dollar ninety nine. All right. So let's look at the first week. So we see some sort of a situation where some of you liberals are hoping for a new start. I see some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming down um, on money and uh, money. Um, and I see some sort of a judgment call where some of you could be getting some sort of a promotion because the four of pentacles and the three of cups is um, promotion and new job. OK, so you could be receiving a new job that is going to be paying you more. So this is good because this first week is showing up that a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a promotion or a new job that pays more or some sort of a financial bonus is going to be coming in um, for you, Libran. So the first 
week, which is the energy of the star, is a good week because your sister energy is here helping out you liberance in order to move forward. I see some of you, some um, some of you are hoping for some money also to come in in the first week so you can make a start. So some of you want to relocate, some of you want to change residence, some of you want to um, go on vacation, some of you are planning for Christmas um, to travel um, um, back home or travel to family or to go uh, away for the Christmas. And I see some of you want to move um, um, forward and move towards an older Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion man. Now, I see you want to move to this person or this person is uh, really um, looking to reconnect with you, Librans. Now, this man is uh, uh, 50 years and older, but as you notice, there was some sort of an issue. It could be a father figure. Um, there was some sort of an issue, and, and this issue is going to resolve. Um, whoever this man is, and um, if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion man, I see they are hoping that you um, travel to see them because it's as if they miss you. Um, They've been trying to um, reconnect with some of you too. So be aware of this. Um, so it's about um, some of you who are involved with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. It could be a father figure. Or it could be um, a, a uncle or that sort of a thing. I see that this is here and this is transpiring. So be aware in the second week, some sort of a secrecy come out about a whole lot of money um, that some of you Libras are connected with. However, it is coming up. I see some sort of a secret comes out about a whole lot of money that is connected with you Libras. And it could be an investigation how you Libras came up with so much money um, that is happening. Some of you Libras could have worked with a, a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion to accumulate a whole lot of money. And I see a whole lot of worries is here for this person because um, this young person between the ages of 18 and 45 is creating something that you liberals have worked together with this young person. Maybe it's your son. Um, I see a whole lot of worries is here for this person. And this person is looking at the, at the past and um, is realizing that they have made a huge um, fault in the past. And it could be that you... Um, or connected to this person, whoever this person is, is, is as if you're connected to this person. So it could be a child, a family member, um, whoever this person is, I see some sort of a secrecy and a whole lot of worries is here for this person. Then we see the energy of the eye princess. Uh, secrecy is now out and I see some of you or ending a situation and looking forward to create some sort of a new stability. Business is going to be good in the second week. Some sort of information came out and people are finding out exactly what was happening and transpiring. If you notice the Six of Swords, it's about moving forward. It's about uh, um, relocation. Six of Swords is always about relocation. Um, so whether it's a job relocation where you could be receiving some sort of a higher salary or you're relocating to another place, uh, um a state changing state or city um to go and live but i see a whole lot of you especially in business business is going to be good it's as if you're you have showed up for yourself and i see you can expect some sort of a business to come in for you so this is going to be good then when we look at the energy in the third week it's a water week um it's a water week and i see an end for a cancer. Whoever this cancer is and whatever that is transpiring, I see an end for this cancer. This cancer is moving back to where they're from. I see relocation for this cancer, whoever this cancer is. I see truths came out um, about a cancer. Some of you have successfully overcome some sort of a hardship you were in and you're relocating you're looking for somewhere else to live as, as if you want to relocate to another city you want to change um um change your location and i see some sort of a relocation so i see success is going to be coming up in um the third week but i see some of you wants to um relocate so you could be changing home um i see that in the First week, um, you could sign sign a, a new lease contract or sign a new sales um, contract, that sort of a thing. And it is uh, going to be very, very good. 
Um, then I see um, they're finding out something about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 45. And they're realizing whoever, this could be sisters and brother for some of you. Some sort of a situation is happening with your sisters and brother where there is some sort of a problem with some sort of a financial instability where a, um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion could have borrowed some money or is always uh, um, living off a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. So I see truth is going to be coming out what has been happening and transpiring. Then I see truths about a scorpion, an older scorpion man and on a younger scorpion um, man. Some sort of information is going to be coming out about these scorpion men or Pisces men. It could be a young Pisces man and an old Pisces man. Some sort of information. So it could be your brother if he's a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion, or it could be your father if it, he is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Some sort of information is going to be coming out about this person, and they're going to be finding out some sort of information about this person. So be aware of it. So you're going to be finding out something because light is going to be shedding on a young Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion um, man or woman and a old Pisces Cancer Scorpion man, fifth, uh, um, 45 years and older. So whatever it is, this man is in reverse. Um, and I see this man wants to relocate. Whoever this man is, this man is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man, 45 years and older. And I see this person wants to relocate. Okay. Then we see the energy of debt, transition, comes up with the energy of the sun because the hermit has the energy of balance. Um, go and listen to the general reading. The hermit has the energy of balance and some sort of a situation is transpiring and I see transition, the energy of debt. So I see a scorpion wants to, um, to go overseas, a scorpion wants to relocate overseas whatever is happening and transpiring if you're in a relationship um with a scorpion i see they want to relocate overseas and they're thinking um to relocate overseas for something something is happening and this person could be uh, could have their family um overseas and i see that this person is thinking about to relocate overseas whatever is happening whatever is transpiring um, so that the energy of the sun and death comes out. Um, I see there, they found out something about a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. And I see this person have a whole lot of worries. Whoever this person is, some sort of information came out. This, this is a man, a male or a female energy. It could be a sister, a brother, a friend. Um, this person, some sort of information comes out about this person. If you guys are looking to relocate, I see um, you are going to be receiving the money um, so that you can relocate. So if you want to change resident, you definitely is going to be getting the money to change resident. Then I see um, some of you successfully overcome some sort of an issue that was going on. Uh, maybe in another place, another city where you were connected to. And it has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man, 46 years and older. And I see this person has a lot of worries and a lot of issue that they're dealing with and they're going through. So what we see is that the energy of the star and alien is going to be taking place. I see some sort of a secret is going to be coming out um, where you liberals is going to be finding out about a whole lot of money that was uh, um, a, a stolen um, um, or just showed up or you have this money and people are going to be investigating where did you get this money from. Um, then I see the energy of uh, some sort of uh, anyone who wants to change resident, you're going to be getting good news in the first week that um, you can sign your contract, whether sales contract or lease contract. Then I see the debt and transformation. And if you're in a relationship with a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion, or if you have a brother or a sister um, that is a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion overseas, I see they're going to be traveling towards you because of some sort of a transition that is happening in their life. So this is good. 
Now, they're going to be finding out that a um, Pisces Cancer, Scorpion man, 45 years and older, together with a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, have created some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem that has to do with money. And I see a whole lot of worries for these two people. So you can realize that you are dealing with people. So if you're in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, go check out their reading. It's good to cross watch. If you are in a relationship with a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you need to check out their reading also because truth is going to be coming out. So go check out their reading, but it has to be someone between the age of 18 and 45. Um, it could be brothers and sister. It could be father and um, your brothers and sister, but it could also be your partner, um, these two persons. Okay, so be aware of that. A whole lot of worries is here for these two people. Whatever these two people have done and created, a whole lot of worries is here for them. So this is absolutely fabulous. This is going to be good. Some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in towards whatever issues that some of you Libras was having. So whatever, this is all about some of you um, need money to either, you know, change resident or travel. And I see some of you are looking towards a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion to help you. But um, I don't see that help is going to be coming in from this person because I see this person kind of shut off uh, the flow of money to you, Libran. So whoever this person is, whether it's your child or whether it's your partner, that is a young Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, it's coming up as a, um, a, a Pisces for some of you and a Scorpion for some of you. And there is some sort of a situation that they shut off all um, financial flow to you, Librant, however this is transpiring. There's some sort of an investigation that is going to be coming up about a whole lot of money that has been missing or that um, you, Librant, have received on the false pretend. Um, so be aware of this. Then we're looking at some sort of a celebration for some of you. And some of you are celebrating because you have received um, some sort of a financial stability. And now I see a new start is going to be coming in. Some of you business-wise, business is going to be good in the month of November. Um, then we are seeing some sort of a healing. And it's as if they're saying to you guys, you need to relocate. Whatever is happening is as if they're saying, you need to relocate. Some of you are dealing with a, a, a Pisces man. And there's a whole lot of worries for a Pisces man. Some sort of a secret, some sort of a worries. But this Pisces man is between the ages of 18 and 45 for some of you. Um, some of you are um, um, seeing the truth of a young Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, how they come on their money and how they create their wealth. And I see truths is coming out and a transition is going to be coming in. Wow, what a November. And trust me, ladies and gentlemen, everyone is having this. So I see a judgment call is going to be coming down on a cancer, whatever is happening. And I see this cancer is going to decide to relocate to another country. Um, and I see um, an older man that is 46 years and older that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion or having a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of worries and I see they're going in to find inner wisdom to deal with some sort of an issue. Okay. We have the energy of the hungry ghost, ladies and gentlemen, absence, scared, confused, that sort of a thing. You need to detach yourself. You need to call upon the universal angels and guides to come in and release you from whatever this envy negative that is going on. The energy of the hungry goat is that a transition could be coming up and they're seeing the truth. The energy of the swan queen is here. So I see that you air sign people and go back and listen to um, if you are, are in a relationship with an Aquarian or Gemini. The energy of the swan queen, another queen came up. Transformation. Listen to your um, intuition and have patience. Whatever is transpiring, Librans, it is good um, to accept the transformation that is happening, listen to your own intuition and have patience. Okay. This is a powerful month for you, Librans. You have number, number 44 
Um, this is uh, this is a month where you liberants are going to be going within to find inner strength and guidance in order to create the right stability for you. Now, there's a whole lot of force that is going on in this month. You have 13, which is four. You have 14, which is five. So you have four, five, 13, 14, and 44. Use these um, in influence of energy because we work on the uh, inflow and the frequency of numbers, which is very important. So four, five, 13, 14, and 44. 44 is a powerful number. Call in the angels and ask for divine guidance and protection. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Please remember to like and share these videos and make sure that you thumbs up. It's a dollar ninety nine for the extended. If you want to see what is going to be transpiring, I love you. Gotta go. Thank you.